Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. Yeah. And I got a Mother Truckin' Vlog planned out for all you mother truckers. I, did I use it too many times? Got a vlog planned out for you guys tonight. I can't do that thing anymore where I put all the timestamps up here on the screen. But my main man, Jeremy V., He's going to be in chat. He's going to be gathering all of the timestamps, and they're going to be the first pinned comment right under this video. So anybody watching on the replay, you're wondering where the timestamps are, they're going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. In fact, Jeremy V's comment, Jeremy V's pinned timestamps will always be the official timestamps of the Grim Green vlog. But I am not against anybody else who wants to like pick out some of your favorite timestamps. I had a dude last week, uh, Duty, just goes D-O-O-T-Y, Duty. He did his own timestamps. He says, I know I'm not Jeremy V, but here I'll try. And he put together like his own timestamps. Maybe he has a timestamp that Jeremy V doesn't have in there. Maybe maybe he has a, a you know, uh, if someone wanted to put together all the burp stamps, they could <laughs> they could just be burp stamps. I don't know. I'm in favor of this. I support this idea of, of letting other people do their own timestamps. But like I said, I have a full on action packed, fun, fun old fashioned vlog for you guys tonight. I got a beer, check. I got a retro vape, uh, definitely check. I have a random liquid tasting. We're gonna talk a little bit about what I've been vaping. I got a whole mess of mail, a whole mess of mail, a goofy amount of mail, a silly, amount of mail. I've got uh, a little bit of getting to know Grim Green. We are going to do a little bit of news and advocacy, but I'm going to try to try to prevent, try to stop, try to not create any sort of uh, rage sweat like hashtag truth butter or anything like that. In fact, since they've piled up a little bit, I want to do a few of these super chats. The only problem is I, uh, I messed up my OBS today. You see, I messed it up good. I deleted an entire scene and if you work in OBS, then you kind of know what that means. I deleted an entire scene, which means that my entire vlog was just deleted and I had no way to get it back. So I had to construct it from the bottom up and I'm going with the old school feel today. I got, uh, I got a rad racing t-shirt. I got my classic clutch hat on old school. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little nostalgic. Feeling a little nostalgic, I guess, today, but uh, I want to do some of these super chats real quickly before we get, uh, before we get way too far into this vlog, just because, okay, I'll let you hear the music. Yeah, just because they had piled up a little bit, Carl shot a super chat off before the vlog even started and said, uh, I wanted to say, I wanted to say thanks for the shout out for his father, Carl. I know he's in heaven looking down on me. You are an inspiration to everyone. Carl, Thank you. I mean, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, thank you. I hope you. I hope you found a little bit of peace there, Carl. Uh, Z Man Blue Screen of Death says, "Hey Grim, I might miss the stream, but I'll watch the replay later. Love you, my man, and stay hydrated, Hydro Homie. That's right. I can already feel myself needing to stay hydrated. Appreciate that, Thomas. Very gracious of you. Cool. It's just a, a cool blue kiwi, Sergio." Man, you are always so very gracious to me. I appreciate that. Yo, yo to you, Sergio. 94 Vape, he says, if you get my parcel, uh, I had to relabel it for customs. Mango is mango slushy. Caramel is caramel sundae. And key lime is key lime pie. Cheers, man. Yo, yo. And then we got one here from Southern Comfort. Shout out to the beautiful woman in my bed who is a great kisser, Lauren. Woo! Things getting hot and heavy over there, Southern Comfort. Scream for me, Southern Comfort. We're going to shout out Lauren right now. Appreciate that. So, yeah, just want to, you know, take care of a couple of those super chats. What I really want to do, what I what I really want to do right now is uh, that one thing that's my new favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. We may have seen this video before, and it's only because I'm running low. So, seriously, if you want to shoot a video, it can be literally anything. Shout yourself out. Shout your shop out. Mention your favorite e-liquid. I don't know. I don't know. L literally anything. And you want to have it featured on the vlog. I love hearing from my subscribers. So you can send me a video. Ho ho you know, landscape format, please. 
Nick at GrimGreen.com. Just send them on over. But right now, I'd like to hear from Joe just because he has some very kind words to say. And uh, does anybody watch uh, Parks and Recreation? You guys watch Parks and Recreation? I hope some of you would be into Parks and Recreation because it's a really, I mean, other than like The Office and Community, Parks and Rec is like, that's the show, man. Parks and Rec rules. This guy, Joe, gives me a really strong, like Louis C.K. from Parks and Recreation uh, vibe, and it cracks me up every single time. What's What say you, Joe? What's up, Green Green? I just wanted to say hi. And also, thank you for everything you've done in the vaping community and still continue to do. I um, <clears throat> don't have much to say. That's about it. I just wanted to say that. And uh, by the way, you are my favorite uh, YouTuber. Also, could you shout out my channel? It's Tattoo Joe Vapes. Thank you. Hope this gets in your vlog. Have a great day. Vape on. Yes. Boom, Joe. We're going to shout out Tattooed Joe Vapes. I think that's what he said, Tattooed Joe Vapes over there on the YouTube. But thank you. I mean, seriously, thank you so much, uh, so much for the kind words, Joe. Really very much, very much appreciate that. And like I always say, if anybody else out there has a video similar to Joe's that they want to see get featured on this here vlog video, you can send them on over to me. Nick at Grimbring.com. Shout some people out. Shout your family out. Tell a story. Talk shop. Show off your gear. Show off your favorite e-liquid. Show off your favorite beer. Show off your favorite, I don't know, child. Show off your favorite uh, animal. You know, if you have a pet snake, I want to see it. Send me your pet snakes. If you have a pet snake, put it on video. Send it over. Nick at Grimbring.com. Um, I also want to hear from uh, my sponsor, Governor Cuomo, except I want to put... Governor Cuomo, we know we know Governor Cuomo's vaping is better than smoking. Technically, yes, but so what? I want to put that into a little bit of context because I've got another clip here from Secretary Azar. What does Secretary Azar have to say, though? We want to ensure that e-cigarettes can be used as an off-ramp for adults who want to quit combustible cigarettes. Traditional combustible cigarettes remain the leading cause of preventable death in the United States and providing an effective off-ramp from them is a public health priority. So keeping that in mind, let's hear from our actual sponsor, uh, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Vaping is better than smoking. I gotta say it, do it every time. Technically, yes, but so what? So what? So what? Vaping's better than smoking, so what? Smoking's the biggest, you know, cause of death in the United States. 480,000 Americans every single year die from complications due to cigarette smoking. But Andrew Cuomo, no. He's having none of that. He wants to help none of those people. He just says, he just says, so what? So that's what we say. That's what we say to Governor Cuomo. We say, we say, so what? Now what I would actually like to do, I feel like I've already been talking for like 65 minutes already. Um... I have a beer, a frosty beverage right in front of me, so it's time. It's time to do the beer thing. Yes, today we are going to be tasting Kevin K. He sent me a four pack of this nitro vanilla porter from Breckenridge Brewery, fine Colorado ales. And uh, I believe I already double checked on here what the ABV is. I think it was a, uh, oh, 5.4. Okay. Well, that's fine. That'll make for a, a decently fun vlog. And these nitro type of beers are the beers that freak me out even a little bit maybe more than corks. I have a pretty intense cork fear. These nitro ones really freak me out because, you know, you're supposed to do that thing where you pour it real quick. You know, you pour it real quick into the glass so you get that like, you know, layered sort of Guinnessy looking espresso shot sort of thing happening in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to do this. Woo! Without making a mess. I'm going to attempt to pour this. Um, yes, also for anybody commenting on this sweet piece of merchandise. Yeah, 
That's uh, that came to me directly from Crew Jones. Crew Jones at Rad Racing sent me this T-shirt. Now this actually came from uh, one of Casey Pickle's coworkers, who also happens to be named Kevin. It's strange how many Rad fans you find across the world, and you just everybody wants to share that because it's such like a weird thing. Like you like Rad, I like Rad. So I got a Rad Racing uh, T-shirt tonight, c- courtesy of uh, courtesy of Kevin. Also got a beer courtesy of Kevin's. Who knew? Who knew I'd have so many Kevins in my life? So let's let's try this. Let's just pour it. Oh God, this is terrifying. Is it gonna do the thing? Is it kind of is it doing the thing? Is it doing the separatey thing? Oh, it kind of is. <gasps> I did it. I did it right. I've never done that well before. I've never done that correctly before. I have never done that correctly before. All right, um, hang on. I'm gonna look into this beer real quickly. And uh, I saw Omboy OC is here, so. I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. dun. I believe I can fly any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. Cheers, you guys. This is for you. Happy vlog day. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Up front, real nice vanilla flavor, real malty, sort of malty porter flavor. These nitros... They're really super like hypercarbonated, but this particular vanilla nitro porter is tasty, but it's real, real light in the mouth. Almost, it's, it goes down, goes down a little bit too smooth, a little bit too smooth. It's got a, it's got a pretty good score over there on the, uh, on the beer advocate. Pours a very dark brown color, thick creamy nitro head, good lace retention. If you're a beer nerd, then that would make sense to you, I guess. Color, uh, lighter color than expected for a typical porter. Very weak aroma. Really? This person claims it has a weak aroma. Yeah, I mean, it's it's there, I guess. Um, yeah, mouthfeel is smooth, if not a little bit on the light side. I'm shocked at how uh, how light it is. Light it is in the mouth. What I do want to uh, pair this with is super good. Uh, which one is this? Super good butter number four. It's the chocolate ice cream cream cookie something or other. Let's do that. Let's do this pairing. Hey, that's not a bad little pairing right there. Yeah, dang, that's good stuff. And this is a good beer. This is going to be gone before I even get, this is going to be gone before I even get to news and advocacy. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, good stuff. All right, well, shit. We got a beer. We heard the Yawk song already. I don't even know what's left to do. I guess that's it. I guess we're winding it down here to the end of the vlog. And uh, I'm just kidding. Of course not. Of course not. I guess what I want to do now, should we do mail or should we just jump straight into some news? Let's let's do a couple more super chats. I always say we'll do the super chats at the end of every segment. So let's do a couple more. uh, Let's do a couple more of these super chats while I continue enjoying this delicious nitro vanilla porter from Kevin K. Appreciate that, Kevin K. That's all you get. Not not even the whole sec. Not even the whole thing. Not even the whole bumper. Uh, Wild boys. Hashtag Grim Army, hashtag Ninja Militia. Yeah, fuck yeah, Ninja Militia. In fact, uh, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Thesis, Vaping with Thesis. He uh, he hit me up on Instagram just very randomly just to like check in and say hi. Just say, hey, just want to say, hey, I know things are real stressful right now. I hope you're doing good. Hope you and the wife are doing good. And, uh, you know, that's all. Just want to say hi. Hope you're doing good. And I said, like, thank you. That's really very cool of you. Like you didn't, you didn't have to do that, but, 
but thank you. Like, I really appreciate that. It was just very unexpected. We don't have a lot of interactions. Um, I know he does a live streaming show on Saturdays, and so we're going to try to work out a time. I'm going to try to work out a time where I can go be a guest on the Mr. Thesis show, but fuck yeah, Ninja Militia. I'll always, I'll always sport the Ninja Militia. Graham, very gracious of you. Always watching the replay. Never managed to catch it live. Too late in the UK. Yeah, today, today me and my wife had a baby boy. So I'm buzzing on life right now. Congratulations, Graham. Fucking A, congratulations. You just had a kid. Now you get to watch the vlog live. Awesome. V- very cool, Graham. Very cool. Kevin Chocolate for the rad shirt. Yeah, for the rad shirt. This is, I mean, this is just going to become my favorite shirt. This is the first red t-shirt that I think I've ever, ever owned, ever owned. I'm pretty sure Dwayne's jealous of my rad racing shirt because that's, you know, this guy's bunny hopping the curb right there. Dwayne can't even bunny hop the curb. Discount zero two. So vaping is illegal in the state of New York. Yeah, right. Vaping is better than smoking. (laughs) Technically, yes. But so what? Dwayne in there with the super chat that just says, can I get a new wrench? This one seems broken. Uh, no, but here I can take your wrench away if you want for this vlog. And then we can, we can give it back maybe at a later date when you, you know, you have a little bit more, uh, you know, you're feeling a little bit more responsible or something like that. Sean Typhoon, very gracious of you. Culture of clouds, shed time podcast episode. Look, we might be able to make that happen. You know, I, we're, I'm, we're busy people. I know Ruby's a busy woman. I'm a busy man, but uh, Sean Typhoon, you, let's say, I'll just say yes. I'll just say yes, and let's figure out a time to make that happen, okay? J-Dub, very gracious of you. Had an awful day of work today. Glad to see the vlog. Much needed after such an awful day. J-Dub, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that you had a bad day. Let's do, let's do everything we can to make J-Dub's ba- day a little bit better here, okay? Uh, Omboy OC, I don't even know what that means. Pay, make, royal ties. I don't even know. You spelled all of those words wrong, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Wayne Feck, <laughs> very gracious of you. Uh, what grim keep up good work watching Western Australia? Western Australia. Well, we got a little bit of Australian news coming up in the news and advocacy as well. Vape in case, so what? Yeah, so what? That's what Cuomo says. So what? Jessica Gordon, very gracious of you. This is my last vlog as a 33-year-old. My birthday is the 5th. I've been having a rough month, and the vlog always makes me happy. Jessica, I'm happy to help. I'm glad that the vlog makes you happy. The vlog makes me happy as well, and happy birthday. Happy freaking birthday on the 5th. Oh, let's see. If it was a little bit closer, we could sing happy birthday to Jessica Gordon. Happy birthday to Jessica Gordon. Happy birthday to Jessica Gordon. (coughs) Happy birthday to you. I choked on my own spit. Has that ever happened to you guys? Choked on my own spit. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. 94 Vape, very gracious of you. For the mango, I use WS23 and Yakima Hops. Cheers. Slick. I'm who else was talking about WS23? Someone was talking. Where do I know that from? That's just well, that's been in my head recently, WS23. Not sure, 94 Vape. We'll get there when we get there. Eifer, yo yo, having internet issues. Just wanted to say hi. I'll catch the replay. Eifer, you're always here. You owe me no explanations, brother. Appreciate you being here. You will catch the replay. Uh, Pepis is sports. Wearing my vlog day shirt from my shop, uh, Valley Vape in Brownsville, Texas. Can we get some but so what battery wraps and hats on the Grim Merch Shop? Oh my God, that would be a great idea. That's a great idea. Yes, I'll just go ahead and say yes. I'll try to make that happen as soon as I possibly can. But absolutely, last one here from Atlas. Legion sent me, but you're here for the merch. Look, you're in the wrong place for the merch. If you want to get your official Grim Green merchandise, 
head over to grimgreenmerch.com. Get get your merchandise. Get all your vlog day t-shirts and you can get a cup. It's just like mine and drink beer out of it if you want to or whatever. Sprite? Sure, you can drink that out of this. This t- this cup doesn't discriminate. So uh, what I want to do real quickly, and I don't have a bumper for it, is just talk about a few of the things that I've been vaping. And when I do these, what I've been vaping, this isn't just like some sort of vape buffet to show off all the vape gear that I have. This is stuff that I've actively, actively been vaping. So first in the mouth to lung, mouth to lung department, I always have an as vape hitta. This is filled up with Blue Bear Hill from Mr. Vinyl and Vapor. Love it. Loving that mouth to lung. Uh, last week in the vlog, we got those Me Pod Pro Pods. Pro Pods. It's just the pod. Same Me One. Pro Pods. In fact, the uh, the menthol that I have in this, it's the Me Salt Menthol. It's a 20 milligram guy. Really very good. This reminds me, first of all, the, the Pro Pods vape great. This is the best vaping me pod that I've ever had. And I have vaped every sort of incarnation of every me pod that has ever existed. This is far and away the, the most flavorful, best performing me pods that have ever existed. It's filled up with that menthol. And this menthol reminds me almost exactly of my very, 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 very first kit the Smoke 51 kit had these amazing menthol cardamizers. If this liquid was just a little bit sweeter, it, it'd be the same. It would be that same. It's like a minty, spearmint sort of flavor. It's kind of awesome. It's kind of awesome. Also been into this Weenax Stylus pod from Geek Vape recently, it's kind of like, I hold it like a little bit like a cigar. I put the longer drip tip on there. This is filled up with Tribeca from Halo. And I like it because it can just hang in your mouth. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Damn it, man. Where did the nicotine warning go? I don't even have a nicotine warning. Where'd my nicotine warning go? I gotta get that nicotine warning up here. That Nick. Oh, wait, maybe it's already somewhere else. Damn it. I can't vape without the nicotine warning. Uh, Okay, here it is. Yeah. Ah, yeah. There we go. Nicotine. This should say that uh, some of the products in this vlog can contain nicotine. Um, Nicotine is somewhat addictive, although it's really difficult to get laboratory rats addicted to just nicotine. Look into nicotine and you will kind of see how ridiculous this warning is. But for safety, for YouTube reasons, you know, I got to put it up there. Halo Tribeca on the inside of this. uh, Really been liking this thing. That's been delicious. Uh, Argus, Vupu Argus. It's like their geek vape thing with the cool tank. That's filled up with butter number four, as you saw. Still hanging in there pretty hard with the uh, Aug Vape V Tech 1.8 with the Druga V2 on top. I'm vaping my super super secret down to the very end of my super super secret. Uh, possibly releasing a melon flavored e liquid. We're gonna see how this goes, but uh, it's been delicious. It's been a hundred percent delicious. I like this Druga V2. It's just a reliable little banger. Um, also got the uh, Bogan Odin Mini. That's the Type 2 on top with the ridiculous Type 2 drip tip as well. This is filled up with strawberry something. Strawberry something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's just strawberry something. Uh, I've become addicted to billet boxes. So look at this hotness. First of all, look at this hotness. I want to shout out... Uh, long time, long time subscriber and patron freaking disco potato sold me this billet box. This is the nugget golden yellow billet box. I even got a throwbacky slashed drip tip on there. This is filled up with uh, prickly smooth on the inside. It's got the boxer V2 and uh, this is an RDTA. So when you vape it, you kind of have to vape it 
like this, like you're just sipping a drink right out of your billet box. When you vape it, you kind of, it's kind of like this motion. But it's great. It's flavorful. I went a little billet box crazy and, uh, well, I bought a billet box and I bought the Boxer V2 off of Disco Potato. I went to Atmazoo and I bought a vape snail and a vape shell. I'm looking to get a Haku Zeta soon. In fact, if Reluctant Pancakes is here, I'm looking to buy her billet box as well because I need, uh, I feel like I just need more billet boxes. I've got old reliable green billet box on here with those acrylic panels from Straight Up Supply Company. I got a new smoke Nord coil in here with the North Bridge and I know it's like, I feel a little bit ashamed of a billet box person having a smoke Nord coil in here, but look, it's all I have until like my vape snail arrives or my vape shell arrives. This is also filled up with uh, Eric Vinyl and Vapor's Blueberry Hill. I don't know why I've recently just become obsessed with billet boxes. I, I love them. I love using them. I love how customizable they are. I love, like, there's so many different inserts and drop-ins and RDAs and RDTAs and things that you can get on the inside, and you can customize your button, and you can customize the panels, and you can get new things and new screws and new doodads, and it's just very fun. It's honestly one of the most fun times that I've had vaping recently is with those billet boxes. It's like, yeah, you get the iJoy Captain 2 from China and you just vape the crap out of it and, and then I'm going to do a review for it. But it's not fun for me. It's just, it's a sub-ohm tank, right? Yeah, it vapes like a sub-ohm tank and it's a big dual 18650 battery. Like that particular device could have come out four years ago <laughs> and not been any different than it is today. Billet box keeps me excited makes makes vaping fun for me again. And then uh, lastly, still hanging in there hard with the Hass Tour, hard with the uh, original recipe, Recoil RD on top. You know what's inside? Yeah, it's that Ohm Boy. Oh, the Ohm Boy heads is on the inside. Uh, this is in bypass mode, loving it. This has been, this uh, and the billet boxes have literally been like my daily uh, daily banger, always on the desk, always vaping. So good. And I want to get a bottle of the new heads because Dwayne said, oh, I've changed the flavor again. Had to change it. Wasn't good enough before. Had to fucking change it. Had to change it again. Dwayne's just never happy with the liquids that he releases. Always got to be tweaking shit, don't you, bro? I need to get a new bottle of that. So, uh, yeah, that's more or less what I've been vaping. And uh, I guess before we get to any mail, which there's a bunch of, bunch, can you see? It's piled up right here. Look at this. We got this from Steel Valley Vapors. This is just, look at this. Just dicks all over it. Yeah, we're going to open that. <laughs> we're going to open that. But the first thing that I want to do is, uh, let's just real quickly go over some... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do some news and advocacy. Boosh. Yeah, here we go. It's news and advocacy time, you guys. Just going to throw this out there. Some of the things that I threw out there last week. Veritas cohort study still going on. If you want to be a part of this, you should definitely be a part of this. Remember, this is limited to smokers that have had less than 1,000 cigarettes total in their life. If you're interested in being a part of this study, this is a big six-year-long study that I think we're going to get some really, really spectacular information from. Veritas cohort study still going on. I'm going to throw this out there again. Queen Mary University London COVID-19 survey. This is for everybody. This is all vapors. Uh, whether you've had the infection or not, go to the site. I'll have a link down in the description. Fill this out. Be a part of the Queen Mary University of London study. Montana, still going to ban vaping. We're going to try to stop the Montana vaping ban. I don't know if the call to action that I've been putting in the description is still valid anymore because I read recently that they stopped accepting any sort of feedback on this Montana vape ban on, on July 24th, which was a few days ago. But uh, still, whoops, still, 
Montana Department of Health and Human Services proposes a permanent ban on flavored vaping products. <sighs> Crazy, you know? This is a permanent ban on all flavored vaping products in the state of Montana. And their reasoning? What? What do you think their reasoning is? Well, you know, legislators say that they are still seeing an epidemic of underage vaping and restricting flavors is the best way to keep young people from taking it up, despite the fact that on the National Youth Tobacco Survey, youth said the number one reason that they picked up vaping was not flavors. Flavors wasn't even in second place. Number one reason given, curiosity. Also, leaders in Montana, how are you, how are you still possibly seeing youth vaping? Isn't everybody supposed to be on quarantine? Isn't there no school going on right now? Aren't children all at home with their parents? It, shouldn't this be the, the, the parents' fault? Still seeing it. Still seeing that epidemic, you guys. Uh, they're not. And uh, they just want to ban vaping because money, you know? Same thing that's happening in California. Still going to throw this out there. There's still a California flavor ban happening, SB 793. Uh, there's going to be a hearing on August 4th. I need to know about the remote attendance details because that's the only way I'm going to be able to attend this flavor ban hearing in, uh, in California. That's still going on. And it's funny because the California verbiage also covers, well, here, I'll just, this is what uh, Jim McDonald, I believe, Jim McDonald, is this from Jim McDonald? Yeah, Jim McDonald wrote this in uh, vaping360.com. It says, like many flavor bands, uh, SB 793 bans characterizing flavors and also flavor enhancers. That term is interpreted by most as meaning nicotine-free e-liquid, short fills, or flavor shots, not a ban on actual flavors that would be used to make DIY liquid. However, Casa CEO Alex Clark notes that the language is vague and ripe for exploitation by extremists within the tobacco control industry. So they're not just necessarily going after like flavored pods or in Montana. This includes flavored e-liquid as well. They're going after possibly short fills, possibly DIY. Like Alex said, the language is so vague, you don't really know what they mean by that. I know that uh, who was rolling out short fills in California? Someone was. Lonnie, was it Severf? I got some Severf satisfying short fills. And even those would, would be illegal under this SB 793 in California. So I'm going to put this CASA call to action. It's going to be in the description. It's going to be, uh, oh, I can put it in the chat right now. No, I'll just put it down in the description right now so that uh, it'll be there. Anybody. Everybody and anybody do this CASA call to action. There's still also an active CASA call to action for the vape mail bill. Uh, keep vape mail legal. This is for S1253. This is one of those things that's going to get voted on literally any day now. I keep hearing rumors. Today's the day, you know, and then the vote kind of just never happens. And then people will text me and be like, well, today's the day. The vape mail ban's getting heard today. It's going to get voted on today. And then it just... Kind of doesn't happen. I've heard it's going to happen next week. I heard it's going to happen a few days from now. Don't really know. Doesn't really matter. Just do the call to action. Just do the call to action. And one thing I would say when you're doing the call to action is CASA gives you the option to fill in your own stuff. Tell your own story about how vaping and vapor products have completely changed your life. You can fill that in. And I would highly suggest filling all of that in because sometimes... Uh, the people that these call to actions are going to will have spam filters on if they get too many of the same thing over and over again, just form letter after form letter after form letter. But if you change it and you put your story in there, chances are it can get past their, uh, their film, their film, film. What did that, where did film even come from? I, I need to stay hydrated. Yeah, stay hydrated, hydro homies. Oh, in fact, 
Yeah, I have to mention this. This is actually the sponsor of this vlog. They pay me money to say that. This is the coldest water bottle. I love the crap out of this water bottle. I use it constantly, all day, every day. This is 64 ounces. I'll put a link down in the description where you can buy a the coldest water bottle. But uh, here, I'm going to stay hydrated, Hydro Homies. The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always be hydrated. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. All right. Back to the news and advocacy. Just a reminder, we're rallying. That's right. September 5th, 2020, the ellipse. Save the vape rally. We're pushing for that PMTA reform, you know. Secretary Azar promised streamlined PMTAs that have not been delivered. When the PMTA comes and goes, who knows? Who knows what the market's going to look like? It's going to be a lot of black market. It's going to be a lot of gray, gray market action happening. So we're going. We're going to rally. I'm going. I hope to see you there. I hope you guys are going. If you have the ability to go, go. Go. Definitely go. Uh, the last rally was pretty incredible to see that many people there, and I'd love to see that many people there for the next rally. September 5th. 2020, 1450 Pennsylvania Avenue, the ellipse, the ellipse. And plus, shit, when you're in Washington, D.C., just do a little bit of sightseeing. You know what I mean? Like go, go to the National Archives, go see the actual Constitution. They have it there on display and you can see it and you can read it and you go, holy shit, that's, that's the fucking Constitution right there. That's the document, man. That's the document. So the rally's happening. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to throw this out there. This is just put, trying to push my libertarian agenda, but uh, there's a petition going around to try to get Joe Jorgensen on the Joe Rogan show. Uh, 1,500 people or so have signed this petition. I think it would be really great. I think it would be really great to see Joe Jorgensen on the Joe Rogan podcast. So if you're interested in that, uh, I'll put a link down in the description where you can sign that petition. Otherwise, we got Vaporesso. Yeah. Vaporesso is announcing their PMTA plans. You know, a lot of people have been curious who who's going to go for a PMTA. Can small businesses go through a PMTA? I mean, maybe if you got the millions of dollars and millions of pages of paperwork, but Vaporesso announces their PMTA plans. Now, their PMTA plans are scarce at best. In fact, all of the information that I can find is this, where it says, yes, <laughs> hang on. This is, this is difficult. Uh, yes, Vaporesso, PMTA plans. Uh, we have invested the most in the PMTA and gathered a professional team to do it right, to enhance long-term partnerships and bring high quality vaping experiences through our products. Now, I know that Vaporesso makes like 12,000 different products. They can't possibly be going for a PMTA for all of them. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. If it's just going to be a few Vaporesso products or if it's going to be a, a, you know, a singular Vaporesso product and then they're going to like prove standard equivalency for that product so they can get other products on the market. I, I don't know. I'm just happy to see someone, someone like Vaporesso going for the PMTA. I've always liked Vaporesso. I respect Vaporesso because they fight for advocacy. They're a platinum board member of the Vapor Technology Association. They're going for a PMTA. They want to stay on the market. So I guess I'll have more information if I can find more information about Vaporesso's PMTA at some point in the future. Uh, just want to do... I got a few more things, I guess, to talk about. How's everybody doing? You doing good? You hanging in there? You hanging in there? All right. Well, we got a little bit of news out of uh, Australia. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a little bit from this email that was sent to one of my patrons, Hamish. Shout out to Hamish. This was sent to him from uh, Vaporize. Mo at Vaporize. When I was down in New Zealand, Mo from Vaporize was a very gracious host. We got to, you know tour his facility, see his big distribution center. He, he's, he's, he's really into vaping, really into advocacy. And uh, so this is an email that went out from Vaporize, you know, to their customers. It's got a little recap 
of what happened. Little recap of what happened. Um, it says, for the last few weeks, the ban was delayed. They're talking about that nicotine ban in Australia. A lot has been happening for vape advocacy in Australia alongside the critical work being done by organizations like the ATHRA, the ARVIA, and the LVE. What? The video's stuttering? Is it really stuttering? God damn it. Here's why that pisses me off so tremendously. Fucking hell. All right, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off. Let's see if that helps. Michelle N tells me that the video is stuttering, and I don't want it to stutter. If it's stuttering for you, try to refresh. We just paid a whole mess of money to Spectrum to upgrade our internet to literally the fastest internet that can possibly exist. It's gigabit internet. There should be zero stuttering going on, okay? So I apologize if there's any sort of stuttering going on. Damn, man, that upsets me. Man, that upsets me. Um, Judging by the success the vaping community had in delaying this initial proposed ban, it seems like the number one thing we can do is make sure the ban does not rear its ugly head again in January is to focus on mobilizing as many people as possible to reach as many politicians as possible. To do that, in addition to providing logistical and financial support to various other advocacy groups, we plan to launch a major national awareness campaign to bring the general public to our side promote vaping rights, and encourage vapors and smokers alike to contact their MPs to respectfully voice their opinion. We'll back that campaign up by meeting with politicians and their advisors over the next six months so that we can present hard copies of petitions, individual letters from concerned voters and their electorates, and the testimony of tobacco harm reduction experts around the world. The end goal of this campaign isn't just to overcome the January 1st ban that's looming ahead of us. It is to fundamentally change the nature of vaping in Australia. We believe it's time for a comprehensive set of national regulations that allow Australian vapors to access nicotine over the counter without a prescription, just the same as every other developed country on earth. So yes, Huge shout out to Vaporize. Huge shout out to Hamish. Um, The Australia vape community has really sprung into action and really become mobilized. It reminds me of what was happening here in the United States in September last year during the Ivali nonsense. The first time we went and rallied in the ellipse in front of the White House. They're on it. They're doing some great work over there. If you're in Australia get hooked up with one of the advocacy organizations, get hooked up with Vaporize. They're saying our sister company, Vaporize Australia, has pledged to raise the remaining $100,000 during the month of July. And they're doing that by launching these incredible advocacy mystery bags, which include five 60 mil bottles of juice and a full vape kit and some other goodies for just a hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Every cent of the proceeds, every cent of the proceeds is going towards this public awareness for vaping in Australia campaign. That's incredible. That's incredible. We've seen nothing like that in the United States. I mean, other than companies donating money to the Vapor Technology Association, we haven't seen any companies, U.S. companies, big distribution centers or big distribution companies raising money for PR for the United States in for vaping, which is something that we desperately des desperately desperately need because public opinion of vaping in the united states is i mean low low i just would love to see something like that in the united states so a uh, little update there from uh, vaporize for australia and i guess we have to talk about this although it doesn't much matter Cigarette sales remain strong during coronavirus lockdown as Marlboro makers say stimulus checks and vaping restrictions are encouraging customers to stock up on smokes. You read that right. Stimulus checks and vaping restrictions are encouraging customers to stock up on cigarettes. Yeah, and one of those vaping restrictions, let's talk about Kentucky real quick. Yeah, haven't heard much from Kentucky ever, but it will soon cost more to smoke e-cigarettes in Kentucky. Now, they put that verbiage in there, I think, on purpose. Smoke. It's called vaping. You don't smoke an e-cigarette, and I think everybody knows that, and I think they did that on purpose so that people will further associate 
e-cigarettes with smoking because they want people to think that e-cigarettes and smoking are like the same thing. Like you've just replaced one habit with another and they're both just as bad for you. You know, this huge misinformation campaign we have going on, they're just both as bad for you. Soon it will cost more to smoke e-cigarettes in Kentucky. New tax starts August 1st. Not just more expensive to smoke e-cigarettes in Kentucky, more expensive than smoking. That's right. Kentucky, along with uh, who else? Vermont, Massachusetts, um, California. More expensive to vape than to smoke cigarettes. It would be in a nicotine user's best fiscal interest to smoke a cigarette than it would be to pick up a vape. It's going to be more expensive to vape than it is to smoke. How is that not just completely transparent to everybody on earth that they just want people smoking cigarettes? Going back to the known killer of deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. Too much rage sweat going on right now. Too much rage sweat. I promise this was going to be a fun vlog. I promise we're going to get to some fun stuff in a second. We applaud the legislature for adopting a pod tax that will substantially increase the price of products that are most popular with youth right now, including the Juul and knockoff reusable devices and the puff bar and posh disposable e-cigarettes, he said. In the midst... Now, how many, think, how many wrong things can you find in this next sentence? Point them out to me. <laughs> In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, inhaling toxins that are shown to damage the lungs puts these kids and every other smoker and vapor in the Commonwealth at a greater risk for serious complications from COVID-19. How many things do you find wrong with that? Oh, if you said the whole sentence, then you're correct, my man. Inhaling toxins that have been shown to damage the lungs? Show me that. Show me any nicotine vape that has damaged lungs. Show me. You, there's none. You can't find it. That's what we call hogwash. That's what we call humbug. That's what we call bullshit. Horse shit, even. I feel like horse shit is worse than, than bullshit. Why are there uh, studies being done in France right now to say that uh, nicotine might prevent serious complications from COVID-19? Why are, why is uh, Kentucky and the United States on the complete opposite side of that saying that, nope, vaping is going to make COVID-19 worse, even though there's no data or, or science or studies that, sh- that demonstrate that, that show that. Why? Why, Kentucky? Why? Grim, <laughs> Grim, the water bottle. That's right. The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always uh, be hydrating. Uh, uh. So it's kind of crazy. So I guess the last thing I'm going to leave you with here today in this here news and advocacy segment is uh, last week, this week actually, on Tuesday, Tuesday Bro Tuesday. Now, Tuesday Bro Tuesday is my full-blown all hour and a half long just news and advocacy show i'd love for you to come out and and get some rage sweat going with me get some truth butter going with me and i realize it's really depressing it's like the same thing over and over again it's the same attacks from both sides of the aisle constantly over and over again and they keep conflating all these issues together and then e-cigarettes and smoking and flavors and the youth and evoli and lung injuries and blah and blah but it's important that we're all educated about this and it's important that we keep talking about this so that it doesn't just fade away. There was a time when Scott Gottlieb first announced the epidemic that I said, hey Scott, prove this epidemic. All you have to do is prove it. They never proved it. And I said, they're just gonna keep using the word epidemic over and over and over again until it's all anybody says. They'll just regurgitate it. Well, everyone's saying epidemic, so it must be true. Everyone's saying epidemic, so it must be true. We cannot let them get away with this. We just can't. I feel compelled to talk about it. I feel compelled to put truth butter out there. I feel 
compelled with every fiber of my being to talk about news and advocacy. So this last week on Tuesday, Bro Tuesday, go watch the video. Don't watch the whole video. Just look in the description because Jeremy V's got timestamps there too. And click on story time. It's about 56 minutes. What's the timestamp for it? 5622. Go to the last Tuesday, Bro Tuesday. Go to 5622 because we dug into this article that Dr. Michael Siegel did. And I'm just going to touch on it very briefly here. Dr. Michael Siegel is a professor at the Boston University School of Public Health. He's got 32 years of experience in the field of tobacco control. And he spent two years working for the CDC. And the big headline on his recent blog post CDC is concealing and suppressing information about youth marijuana vaping to overhype harms of e-cigarettes. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is concealing and suppressing information on the number one cause of severe vaping-related health harm to youths in order to deceive the public into thinking that e-cigarettes are at the top of that list. This article is... I mean, eye-opening, mind-blowing, mind-blowing what the CDC is doing right now with misinformation, maybe purposefully, possibly purposefully. I don't have my tinfoil hat right now, possibly purposefully misleading the public into thinking that e-cigarettes are worse than they are. It's insane. It's disingenuous. It's just smarmy, and I just can't stand it. So, If you want to know more about that, which hopefully you do want to know more about that, this week's Tuesday Bro Tuesday, click on the story time, timestamp 5622 into the video. Just listen, listen to the whole thing. We read it, we dissect it. It, It's mind blowing, you guys. It is my, I'm not even joking, green eyed lady. Yeah, just as we've suspected, right? Just as, just as suspected. Uh, It's a blog post from Dr. Michael Siegel. He has a blog called The Rest of the Story, Tobacco and Alcohol News Analysis and Commentary. Michael Siegel has a mountain of credentials. The man worked for the CDC. He's got over 30 years of experience in tobacco control. He's a professor at the Boston University School of Public Health. This guy knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about, and his little expose on the CDC blew my mind grapes open. Blew my mind grapes into the ground, bro. Crazy. So if you want to know more about that, that's where we're going to end this news and advocacy. But if you want to know more about that, as well as everything else I talked about, there will be links down in the description. Last week's Tuesday, Bro Tuesday. Plus, you get to see gems like this on Tuesday, Bro Tuesday. (laughs) Just what? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what in, that was in reference to. I don't remember doing that trumpet sound. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember why I was even doing that. But now that the uh, news and advocacy is over, like I said, going to have links to literally everything I just talked about, including the uh, Australia thing. It's in a Dropbox folder, but I think I can share it. No, maybe I can't share that thing exactly because it has someone's email address on it. I'm not sure I can share that, but I can definitely share everything else, including Joe Jorgensen. Like, look, you guys, let's get Joe Jorgensen on the on the Joe Rogan podcast. Before we get into some mail, let's do a couple of super chats. All right, all right. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you get right there. That's all you get right there. Uh, vape related. Vape related, very gracious of you. Love from Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to all my vape fam in Australia. Hope you guys keep, continue fighting the good fight. Continue fighting the good fight because Mo's absolutely right. This is not just about the nicotine ban because even if you guys can strike down that nicotine ban that's looming over you guys coming in January, They're going to come at you again, and they're going to come at you again, and they're going to come at you again. And one of the lessons that I've learned from being an advocate in the United States is 
it's difficult to just continuously be trying to put out little fires that they set. You need to go beyond that. You need to set up a defensible perimeter. You need to change the conversation. You need to change the perception of vaping in the country. And I believe in you. I believe in you guys. Death Cave Studio, rad, childhood fave. Send me an angel scene, right? Yes. <sighs> Bicycle boogie. Are you kidding me? In fact, here's the dorkiest, nerdiest old guy thing that I do. I have a bicycle and it's not a BMX bike or anything. It's like a Schwinn street cruiser bike. It's got, you know, what are, what are those like hubcaps? <laughs> not hubcaps, but like the fenders on it. It's just a street cruiser bike. It's like a seven gear guy. And I go out once, twice a week and just ride around my neighborhood with my ear pods in. I go for like seven or eight miles and I just have fun. I listen to the rad soundtrack on Spotify while I'm riding my bike around the neighborhood. That's, that's one of the nerdiest things I think I've ever done. Send me an angel. You know, there's that crew Jones and he's just... Bicycle boogie. Kevin Chocolate for Omboy OC to gas up the new dirt bike. Wait, now I got to give this $2 to Omboy OC? Unbelievable, man. That's unbelievable that I have to do that. Kevin Chocolate, you jerk. Z-Man, uh, blue screen of death. Hey, Grim, the stream is occasionally freezing. I hope you got your upload speed. Frick. Yeah, see, it's frozen right there. I saw it freezing. I saw it freezing just then. Man, that upsets me. Yeah, it's freezing right now. I can see it freezing. I can see it freezing right now. What the hell is going on? Wi-Fi is fucking again. I'm trying to text Casey, but it's not going to do any good. I know it's just freezing like crazy and there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, Casey says, now I got off everything. I got off all the Wi-Fi. Here, I'll turn off the Wi-Fi on my iPad so that it's not on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's stuttering like crazy. It messed up my bicycle boogieing. I'm sorry. Yeah, fucking Powerbomb Spectrum. The stream's current bit... Okay, I have to stop streaming. We recommend you use a stream bitrate of 450. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. How about that? Man, I was doing some good bicycle boogieing there too. Open widget. Okay, oh, now it says excellent connection. No, it's still stuttering. What if I... Son of a bitch. Fucking Christ. It's, I'm gonna have to stop the vlog. It's unwatchable, man. It's unwatchable. I'm, I don't care. Sorry, I turned everything off. It's unwatchable. All right, you guys, I'm going to just go ahead and end the vlog. I'm sorry. I can't. There's nothing I can do. If you can even hear this, which you probably can't. No, don't. Can you hear? Just try restarting. I, I'm wired. 
I have a wired connection, Justin. I have a wired connection. I know, it's just stupid. So make sure that on the, in the, I can't even think right now. I'm trying to do some, some super chats. I was trying to do some bicycle boogieing. It was just fucking everything up. Can we shut my door and turn up the AC, please. Yeah, I lowered I lowered the bit rate. It said I had to lower my bit rate to 450 and I was like, my bit rate is already well below 400 right now. <laughs> I'm good now. Right, well, let's see how long this lasts. Should I bicycle boogie again because that was really fucking good. Yeah, you rarely get to see Grim Green upset. Let's do some super chats. That's all you get. Uh, you know what upsets me the most about this? Fuck Spectrum. Fuck Spectrum with a gluten-free dildo. They can get fornicated with an iron stick for all I care about. Because a, guy, a tech was just here, upgraded all of our equipment. He's like, oh yeah, you should be getting between... 800 and a thousand megabits per second download and you should be getting between like 40 and 50 megabits per second upload and i'm thinking perfect that's exactly what i need to stream bro thank you because before i was getting like 12 megabits per second upload 12 megabits per second upload now i should be getting should i try to run a speed test right now this is great replay value let's just run a real quick speed test uh, oh yeah, it's blazing, 120 megabits per down per second download. Mmm, so fast. Four, I'm getting four, five megabits per second upload. It's supposed to be 40 to 50 megabits per second upload. Spectrum, four. I'm getting four, and now it's frozen again. Now it's frozen again. Spectacular. Uh, do I need to lower my audio bit rate? Let's lower that to like 28. Uh, let's lower this some more. Let's lower this as low as it'll go. How about that? <laughs> let's lower it all. Yeah, just one frame per second. I'm supposed to be getting 40 to 50 upload and instead I'm getting four right now, four. It's fucked up because last night the internet went out for hours. All of Los Angeles went out for hours last night. All right, well shit, if it keeps, if it's, if it keeps hiccuping like that, I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do everything I can. It's not frozen for most people and the audio is perfect. All right. All right. Okay. Let's do a couple of more super chats here. Tenacious TX Vips. I'm packing orders while listening to the best Thursday program on the tube. Yeah. If it doesn't keep stuttering, all flavors are banned in New York. Technically, yes. But so what? Yeah. You just... Uh, you go to the Native American reservation. They're on sovereign land. The 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 flavor bands don't uh, don't matter to them over there. Wayne, very gracious of you. First time watching live because I'm normally working. I want to shout out my mate shop, Sovereign Vape Lounge in West Australia. Fuck yeah, West Australia Vape Lounge, Sovereign Vape Lounge. I appreciate that, Wayne. Thank you for being here, man. Technical difficulties aside. Let's just take a second. Let me just take a second and hydrate. The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always be hydrating. Yeah, that's good shit. Uh, hi, Nick. Silent Drive just says, hi, Nick. Just saying hello. This is for Kasa. Okay, now I have to donate that money to Kasa. I have to give money to Dwayne. I got to give money to Kasa. This is unbelievable. It's cool. I'll definitely give that money to Kasa for you, Silent Drive. Logan exhales. Uh, I have a really great libertarian book that I'm going to send you. I know how much you love books. Yeah. 
look, if it can, uh, if it, if it has a, you know, a dyslexic font, then I can probably read it. If not, then yeah. Wow. So much rage sweat. That's spectrum sweat right there. That's spectrum, spectrum internet rage sweat right there. I would like to read that Logan exhales. I just took a test. You know, it was like, it's like one of those buzz, Buzzfeed tests, like which kind of eggplant are you? It was one of those like, uh, how libertarian are you? And I took it and it said I was very libertarian. That's the designation it gave me. Very libertarian. Uh, I, but I would like to read that book, Logan. Jonathan, very gracious of you. Keep fighting the good fight even when the idiots keep pushing back. Yeah, you have to. You have to keep fighting the good fight. You have to, have to, have to. And look, I know that it's I know that it's a lot and I know that's the same thing over and over again and you just get mad and you just get infuriated and you just, you sound like a broken record when you're telling people, no, no, it was the THC cartridge. It was the THC cartridges. No, it wasn't nicotine vaping. No, nicotine vaping. No, the kids aren't vaping because uh, 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 uh. it's a lot, man. And it gets to be a lot. And I, I feel like a broken record 800% of the time, 800% of the time, but you got to keep doing it. Uh, oh, that Stan tenacious TX vapes. That makes so much sense because Kentucky farmers, number one crop is tobacco. Oh, they're just protecting the tobacco farmers. So it is about money. So it is about money. It's never been about public health. They're just using the kids as a scapegoat to save the tobacco farmers in Kentucky. Okay, damn. That makes uh, that makes a whole bunch of sense. Yes, it is technically stuttering, but so what? What's not so bad is you should finish early. It's very watchable. Don't fret too much. I do. I have no choice but to fret, Michelle Lynn. CDC, uh, after the currency exchange and the tube taking 30%, $3.78 US dollars goes to Grim Green. Stay hydrated, dudes and dudettes. <laughs> Thank you, Living Hints. Yeah. After the conversion and YouTube takes 30%. Yeah, that's a thing. That's okay. Oh boy, OC, CDC is slowing down your internet, bro. I feel like they're listening to me sometimes, Dwayne. I feel like they are. I feel like I'm being sabotaged. I'm being sabotaged, bro. Atlas Vape Co., see you in DC. Not if I see you in DC. I'll see you in DC, Atlas Vape Co. Lindsay Smith, very gracious of you. Yo, yo, I hope you and Casey are having a great day. Uh, Dwayne needs a song for Tuesday, bro, Tuesday to slow down all of the rage sweat. Now that, that's very interesting. That, that could be, that could be a thing. Dwayne could re- could record something for Tuesday, bro, Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. I appreciate that. Trey Watt, I'm in need of a type 2 RTA ASAP. Yeah, I got one right here. I'll sell it to you. $3,000. Yeah. Think about that. That's a sweet deal because it's one of one right now. Sorry that you guys saw me got so angry. I just get so angry at technology, especially when it's supposed to work, especially when we just had a tech guy here from Spectrum who's like, oh, yeah, test your Internet tomorrow morning. It's going to be like a thousand megabits and you're going to get 40 megabits upload speed. It's going to be so awesome. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's perfect. That's exactly what I need, bro. Then what happens? YouTube gives me a warning that says, oh, your Internet's not fast enough. You have a poor connection. Cool, Spectrum. Cool. 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 Okay. Richard B., very gracious of you. Deep breath, Nick. We love you, and uh, we will be patient. Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys have way more patience than me. (laughs) 8,000% more patience than me. And I lied. I feel like I'm lying because I said, oh, this is going to be a fun old-fashioned Grim Green vlog. Woohoo! And it's not. I'm just ragey. Glitchy vlog is still a vlog. Enjoying my Thursday. Appreciate that, suburban dirt farmer. Clouds and coils. Don't end it, bro. Everything will be okay. I was just going to end it. I was just going to end it. Remember when uh, Remember when the this died and I had to go to uh, Crap Cam McGarbage Cam? Remember when that happened? And I had to do the whole vlog on Crap Cam at Garbage Cam. Should I leave it on Crap Cam for a while? No, that's dumb. I don't want to do that. Uh, Logan exhales. Nope. Uh, tiny font. 
Tiny government. Yeah, tiny font, tiny government. Andy, very gracious of you. You can put this in your pocket, Grim. Woo! 20 bucks all for me, Andy. Thank you, Andy. I, I really much appreciate that. We're going to get back to those super chats in just one hot minute because uh, we're already running long and I haven't even got to my copious amounts of mail yet. I got something here from uh, Breeze Tones. The first thing I need to open, I don't have a garbage bag right now, but... The first thing I'm going to open is this Amazon package because I believe this came from uh, one of my yo-yos, Anthony Ramella. Anthony Ramella, are you in the house? Yeah, buddy. He came through for me. Hefty. Lavender vanilla garbage bags. Hefty. Lavender vanilla garbage bags. So let's get one of these out. Now we can continue with the vape mail. I got a package here from Breeze Tones. I was not expecting a package from Breeze Tones, but I have a package here from Breeze Tones, and I'm dying to know what's inside. I'm guessing, what is this? Australia, Australia love. Can you guys read that? Breeze Tones. Fuck, you're cool, bro. I like you. I like you, Breeze Tones. Australia love. Very, very nice packaging here, Australia love. Oh, yeah, it's more coils, baby. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Tricor Aliens MTL coils. You guys know that Breeze Tones does an MTL coil now? If you want to support a business in Australia, you can support Breeze Tones. Let's read some of this Breeze Tones literature here. Nick and Casey, yo yo, much love, a little something for you guys, a small gift of coils. I'm excited about the mouth to lung coils designed for the K-Fun light deck, so I hope you truly enjoy. Nick, the Triple 27s were originally designed for the Blotto deck, 3 millimeter ID, but they absolutely fit. All right. They'll rock my world at 75 watt long toots, some straight flavor right up your face hole. I apologize for no hexome spec coils for you, Casey, but I'm working on it. Uh, big love to you and Nico. Uh, I hope who can now swim. No, she can't. <gasps> this much love, that much love from Breeze Tones. Bro, thank you, Breeze Tones. I appreciate that. Spotty, blo spotty vlog and all. I appreciate that, bro. Oh, my knife fell. My really, really sharp knife fell on the ground. Sick. I got some Breeze Tones coils. Baller. Baller status 9000. In fact, I just used some Breeze Tones coils recently. I don't remember what. Now, this comes from the UK. And if what's in here is I think what's in here, what if what's in here is I think is what's in here, then this might be some uh, some goodies. Some edible goodies. Oh. Oh. Okay, this one's for Casey. I'm going to open Casey's because she's not here. So let's just open this. Pickle. Yeah, baby. Loki Wolf coming through with the Jammy Dodgers. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Jammy Dodgers. Hell yeah, Jammy Dodgers. You want to have one? Let's have a Jammy Dodger tasting together. Because these are just going to get annihilated right now. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. If you ain't never had no Jammy Dodger, you need to have a Jammy Dodger from the United Kingdom. What? There's cookies. There's more cookies. Oh, these are Jaffa Cakes. Oh, these are Jaffa Cakes. We got Jaffa Cakes and Jammy Dodgers. It looks like you had to take them out of the package to ship them, though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The Brits, 
Do you guys know how to make a good biscuit? You guys really know how to make a good biscuit. This is exactly what I needed right now. Here's a Jaffa cake. I don't know if you ever had no Jaffa cake, but they're amazing. Just one bite. That's all you do. Mm. Oh my God. Jaffa cakes. Wolfie Wolf. Thank you so much for the Jaffa cakes and the Jammy Dodgers. I love that. Mm. Wait, I'm going to eat one more Jaffa cake. It's no big deal. It's whatever. It's just one more Jaffa cake. Mmm, crap. Shut up. A little chewing, ASMR happening. Mmm. I hate that I can't get Jaffa cakes in the United States. That upsets me beyond repair. Mmm. Why hasn't anybody made a Jaffa cake e-liquid? Why, why hasn't that ever happened? Why hasn't that ever been a thing? In Casey Pickle, there's a... I can't open this. This is a Casey... It says Casey on it, and I can't open Casey's. So as soon as she gets to this part in the vlog, she'll come in here and, and get, her, get her cakes. There, here, I'll just text her. I'll just text you. Gift for pickle in here. <laughs> Loki wolf. All right. Let's open the Steel Valley Va <laughs> Steel Valley Vapors. Uh, this is the dick box. There's uh, something there. A little something over there. Uh, I like uh, I like these guy. I like this one, the Punisher right there. I like this one too. That they're crossed. That's great. You know what? This is very unprofessional of you, Steel Valley Vapors. For all you know, I could have just been a normal customer. I ordered some e-liquid from Steel Valley Vapors. I've just been buying vape gear again. And not because I'm not getting anything for review or anything like that. I've just been... I realize I haven't purchased stuff that I want to vape in a really long time. Like, that's why I get in the billet box. I went and bought some liquids. Well, you know the rule. I have to put on a Steel Valley Vapors hat now. Yeah. Steel Valley Vapors hat. Sorry, Clutch. Sorry, Clutch. So, what did I order from Steel Valley Vapors? Okay, first of all, Jaffa Cakes right here. First of all, Jamie Dodgers right here. Loki Wolf, thank you. And this one says Casey on mm. it. Mm. So you can go open that. Dude, Jap right? Right? They're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be, which makes them even better. They're so good. You can oh eat my God. so good. Just pop them out. I ate two already, dude. This is why I need to watch the vlog. Yeah, I ate two of them already. Holy shit. Yeah, you can take this with you if you uh -huh. want. Don't polish them off. I mean, we need to make those last. I'm going to leave them in here. I'm going to take one. Okay. And be a respectful lady. Here, try a Jamie Dodger. Jammy Dodgers. A Jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodger. They're really mm. good. They're like raspberry goo with a shortbread cookie. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. Eat them. Enjoy. The Go open your present and tell okay. me what's inside of it. Here's what I ordered from uh, Steel Valley Vapors. I think this is what I ordered. Toffee custard. Who was telling me to buy this? It was one of my patrons. Bottled violence. Custard. Um, I ordered some 12 milligram psycho crawler, bought some 12 milligram psycho crawler for my mouth to lung stuffs. Uh, that's right. We got Pete and groggy clockwork vapors. I don't even remember what the flavor profile of these guys are. And then I got a Alex. I didn't order all of these Alex and Georgie. I think the, I think Georgie is the one I definitely ordered. I don't remember. I don't remember which ones. I don't remember. I don't remember which ones I actually ordered and which ones I didn't. <laughs> Thanks, Grim, so much for everything you do, for showing me some love. Uh, the extras on me. That's right. Steel Valley Vapors. I appreciate that. You know, I try to order stuff. Whenever I order stuff from the interwebs, I do it, you know, anonymously. I don't make, I don't say, hey, this is Grim Green and I'm making an order. 
So I would just want you to know that I use my personal email address. I, I, you know, I don't make it Grim Green LLC. I don't do it from grimgreen.com or anything because what I want is just a regular shopping experience. You know, that's what happened when I ordered the, uh, uh, what was it? Asgard, Asgard mini. When I bought my Asgard mini from, uh, fucking can't even remember the name of the company. Just, I wanted the shopping experience and they gave me a great experience and a great customer service experience as well. And that's, uh, you know, that's really what I'm looking for. Vi oh, now this, this is from, uh, oh shit. I know who this is from. This is from Vapors Cloud, you guys. Georgie is life. Fudge is amazeballs. Georgie, that's the one you're saying is the one I should try first? You know, I had an e-liquid picked out for tonight that was actually, truly, and honestly a very random e-liquid. But Georgie is the one you're saying I should try there, Advocate for Liberty? All right. Well, I will keep that in mind. But this... This is from uh, Vapors Cloud, and what I'm hoping is in here is that new Bogan MTL RTA. There's a very strong possibility of that. Hey, mate, thank you so much for reviewing this product. We've been working hard with Sam for a few months on this project, and we're really happy it's coming to fruition. Fruition. We appreciate that you are willing to take the time out of your busy busy schedule to review the Ether RTA, and we are excited to see what you think of it. Ether RTA, Suicide Mods and Vaping Bogan, 24 millimeter, top fill, removable base. We're asking, please do not post any videos or pictures until the 30th of July. All right, what's today? <laughs> Today's the 30th of July, bro. We can post, We can. I can show you this RTA right now. Suicide Mods, Ether RTA, Bitchin, bitchin, suicide mods, bitchin, suicide mods. I said, bitchin, a suicide mods. I said, bitchin, suicide mods. A bitchin, a suicide mods. I said, packing peanuts everywhere. All right. Ooh. 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 I don't know why I'm doing that. There it is. Oh, no, wait. This is the glass pack. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay. All this, the rest of this stuff gets, by, all goes by the side. Yeah, black on black. Can you see that? Ether RTA, bro. Build stream? I'm thinking so. This might be the Monday build stream of the Ether RTA. Let's see. Suicide mods and vaping bogan here. Stuck. All right, there you go. Here you go. Here's an exclusive. First look, the Ether RTA from Suicide Mods and the Vapen Bogan. Slick, slick looking RTA. Looks like cotton's going to come out of those holes right there. Let's see. It's a little bit of a restricted lung right there. Oh. Interesting. Wow, they offer, uh, you can really close down the airflow on this. Really close down the airflow. Ugh, let's open it. Let's open this some bitch. Yeah, there you go. Postless design. Even though technically there are posts, you're not going to be able to see this. You're not going to be able to see that if it's ever going to focus on it. Let's see, can I zoom in? Let's see, how far can I zoom in? And so you can see this, see the deck, postless deck. It's just two places to capture your leads. It's got big wick cups right there. Big wick cups right there. And this is the airflow control on the bottom. And it, wow, it's a little bit uh, sketchy there. It clicks in different places. You see that? There's one hole right there. Not bad. Not bad. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty excited about this. It looks like it comes with uh, 
There's a clear glass and a smoky glass and then an Ultem. These feel plastic for sure. That's definitely glass though. And there's a smoky plastic and an Ultemi looking plastic in there as well. Bunch of uh, O-rings, drip tip. Yeah, it's got a full exploded view. Shows you how to put it together, build it. Very cool, man. Very freaking cool. I'm excited about this. Maybe this maybe this will be the build stream on Monday. Maybe. If I can bring myself to wait until Monday to build this, then it'll be the build stream on Monday. If I can't, we'll do something else. There's an Ether RTA glass pack as well in here, which I wanted to show you. Comes with, yeah, the Ultem, the Clear, and the Smoky. So you can buy them all separately as well the different glass packs ether rta glass pack stoked stoked what else what is this what are you the trilogy rta i don't i don't know nothing about no trilogy rta okay whoa that looks dope as fuck all right all right, cool. Trilogy RTA and the, I can't even remember the name of it, Ether, Ether RTA. The box itself just is pure nicotine warning. Nicotine warning, nicotine warning. The only branding you get is right there and right there. That's it. All right, Ether RTA. All right. Stoked. Stoked for some hot mouth to lung action from Bogan. Stoked for some hot bogan mouth to lung action. But wait, there's more. I, like, look, I can't have these right here. I'll just keep eating them. You have to go away now, Jaffa Cakes. It's cool. It's cool, dude. I have one more. I had one more. Let me hydrate real quick, too. You like my Hydro Homies meme? What about this one? What do we got here? No idea. Let's just open it, shall we? these Russian dolls there's another box here <laughs> it's another box if there's another box inside of this box I'm gonna lose my mind they really did a number on this whoa oh okay Wow, these are Indonesian e-liquids. So I am doing, uh, I'm, I'm not doing, I am uh, judging a, a trick competition that's going on in Indonesia right now, sponsored by this company, Bayoni. Bayoni e-liquids. In a time when quarantine keeps us apart. You can submit uh, your trick runs, I believe, to Bayoni e-liquid, tobacco custard, lemon custard. Looks like a disposable tank. What do you think of these juice bottles? Those are some wacky juice bottles, bro. This is uh, ice, ice grapefruit. I wonder if they're easy to use or if they just chose this bottle just to be weird and different just to look completely different. But uh, A-Kids, one of the original trickers ever on Instagram, ever. A-Kids, uh, Danny Lolo, and myself, we're gonna be judging this online trick competition put on by Bayoni E-Liquids out of Indonesia. You can submit your tricks. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but uh, we're doing it. And that's their liquid, so very cool. I'm looking forward to some crazy, crazy Indonesian e-liquids. This, this is from some other country. This is from a different country. 
This is from Australia. Holy crap. You guys, I got more Australian mail here. Holy crap. And, uh, all right. And, oh, this is going to be candy or cookies or food or something. I just know it. <gasps> what? What is happening? Oh. Tim Tams. Holy shit. This is basically the snack vlog. Uh, we got Tim Tams. We got fruit chocks. We got red skins. Intensely raspberry red skins. We got caramello koalas. What? What? Wait a second. Who did this come from? Jay? Jay Quinn? Are you here tonight, Jay Quinn? Jay Quinn. Thank you. You guys want to have a Tim Tam? If you never had a Tim Tam, this is some high quality snacking action right now. This is what they look like. It's a chocolate cookie uh, sandwiched with another chocolate cookie with chocolate in the middle. Tam, 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 tam. Dude. Too much good stuff. I do not need this many sweets in the house. That's insane. Look, it's an Australian candy, okay? It's an Australian candy. It's not racist. It's just an Australian candy. Here. Tim, Tim. Yeah, dude. We have way too many snack sweets vlog. in the house. I know. I love snack vlogs. Tim Tams rule. Oh. Dude, Tim Tams. So good. I want to eat Tim Tams, Jammy Dodgers. Just jam them all in your house. Jaffa oh, cakes? No. Jaffa cakes. Yeah. Oh, but wait, this. there's more. More snacks? Well, I don't know if it's a snack, but it certainly is something. Yeah, oh, it's e liquids. That's kind of like a snack. Java? Wait, what is this? What are these, Jay? Remember who those came from? Those came from Jay in Australia. Washington football team candy. I know. J essential oils lime. Are these just flavorings? I don't want to. And some coils. Okay. I'm writing. I'm going to find a Sharpie. And I'm going to write J. You're taking your snack back. That's fine. Get them out of here. Damn. Yeah. Get them away from me. Tim Tams and Jaffa Cakes. Don't eat them all. Forever. Forever. All day long. Fuck dinner. Fuck dinner. We have dinner already. It's called Tim Tams and Jaffa Cakes. Jay's Essential Oils. All right, Jay, I'm going to wait for you to hit me back on these. I don't know exactly what to do with these. If these are flavorings, if you want me to vape them. Essential Oils Mango. Because generally, like oil, I don't, you know, that doesn't mix with, with vape and stuff. That don't mix with no vape and stuff. So I'm going to put, I'm going to write J on this bag. J. So get back to me, J. Yeah, those Tim Sams are gone. I know, right? I know the avatar. They're just going to be gone. Uh, we got a few more, honestly. Uh, I got two more packages here. Chris Miller. Now, if this is more snacks, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. This could be more snacks. This could, Holy shit, this could actually be more snacks. Chris Miller? Oh, what the crap? This is more snacks, Pickle! <laughs> How did all of these snacks arrive on the same day? Was I talking about snacks recently? Is that why all of these just appeared in my house? 
Or is this like a practical joke? Like, oh, let's send Nick a bunch of sugar. Let's turn Nick into a diabetic. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Chris Miller? <laughs> Wait till you see what we got in here. Mm. Besides Yorkies. Holy shit, Pickle. It's a peppermint arrow. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, Chris... Chris Miller? Miller? Yeah, Miller Man. Chris Miller. Miller Man. <gasps> Miller Man. Miller Man. Miller Man. Miller Man. Yeah, Whoa. there's twirls. There's some uh there's some more Jaffa cakes. Jaffas? There are uh chocolate gold. Yeah, because chocolate is gold. There's Yorkies, raisin and biscuit, peppermint arrow, milk. It's like a biscuit. Biscuit. A mil Nestle Milky Bars, the white chocolate Milky Bars. This is this is so many. What is this? Pineapple Jaffa cakes. Pina. Wait, what? Pineapple Jaffa cakes. I picked the right day for stretchy elastic waistband. <laughs> this was the right how is day it, for this How did house. we? How is it timed that all of these arrived today? I don't know. That I got three packages of nothing but pure snacks. Take a bite of that today. I will. And then share it with me. It's pineapple. I know. You're allergic to pineapple. I know. I want a little bite. You can have a quarter of a I'm bite. I'm going to Benadryl myself. You're allergic to pineapple. I know. Dude, so oh. good. Dude, so good. Okay. Miller Man. Oh, my I God. I love you, Miller Man. This is too many snacks for the, for the Nick Green household. Miller Man, low-key... And wait, where'd the, uh, Jay. the Australian snacks? Jay. Jay. This guy. Thank you. We love you for feeding us. Jay Quinn. Jay Quinn. Jay Quinn. You guys. Take that box just to remember his name. Because I don't want to forget people's names anymore. Oh. Oh, my God. It's like Christmas, but better. It's literal. It's like better Christmas. It's, it's like British and Australian Christmas. It's international Christmas. It's international in Christmas snack day in July. That's what I'm changing the title of this to. <laughs> <laughs> Loki Wolf, fucking thank you. Jay, thank you. I don't even know. Miller Man? Yo, yo, Miller Man. The amount of snacks I just received. <laughs> I can't believe they all came at like the same exact time. That's a crazy amount of snacks. That's too many snacks, you guys. Ah. <sighs> Let me do, let me open one more package here. And if this is full of snacks, then I am going to really lose my mind. Truly and honestly lose my mind. I feel like this can't be snacks. This is just a huge package. What? What the heck? What the hell is going on? Oh, wait. This is posters. This is art. Did I get art? Who is this from? Okay, first of all, A, who is this from? Uh. It just says web returns. Web returns? What is this? What is, wait, 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 there's literature. There's literature? No, there's no literature. I'm so confused right now. Why is everything like Kevin Smith themed? Why is everything Kevin Smith themed? Who's from this? Who gave this to me? This is a clerk's coffee mug. I fucking love Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith movies. Who's the Kevin Smith? Mike Kitty? It might be Mike Kitty? Who? Mike? Can for oh, Mike Kurth. Oh, Mike Kurth. Mike Kurth, Mike Kurth, Mike Kurth. 
Holy shit, Mike Kurth. Uh, uh, bro. Thank you. There's another hat. There's a Leonardo Reapers hat in here. Holy shit. Sorry, Steel Valley. We're the Leonardo Reapers now. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm a big Kevin Smith fan. Clerk's coffee mug. Clerk's coffee mug. There's a t-shirt in here. There's two t-shirts in here. There's a movie t-shirt in here. That's unbelievable. A purple Mubi t-shirt. You, you guys know Mubi? You guys know Kevin Smith movies? Movies. Oh, there's a buzz. Holy shit, dude. How did, what is this? Is this like a, like a thing? Like, how did you do this? So Mike Kurth, I gotta, I gotta tell you, Mike Kurth has been a fan and subscriber for a really long time. <laughs> Berserker! My love for you is ticking clock, Berserker! Would you like some making fuck, Berserker? Berserker! Wait, there's fridge magnets? There's like a whole mess of fridge magnets? Chasing Amy? Dogma? Mall rats? Jay and Silent Bob? I don't even know what to say, Mike Kurth. This is kind of amazing. Like, kind of more than amazing. It's already 6.15. It's already 6.15. I got a retro vape. I got a retro vape combination. Just, holy shit. Is that signed? Is that signed, Mike Kurth? Jay and Silent Bob is signed. Like legitimately. That's this is unbelievable, Mike Kurth. This is kind of unbelievable, Mike Kurth. 37 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks in a row. Um uh Mike Kurth, I can't thank you enough. Mike Kurth is one of the few people on earth that has the Grim Army tattooed on him he has a grim army tattoo on him okay let me i need to look at this poster too is this gonna be what okay i don't even want to speculate don't even want to postulate right now what this is gonna be holy shit it's a signed full-size clerks poster this is incredible. I just watched Clerks and Clerks 2 like a week ago, bro. Like one week ago. Mike Kurth, you guys, you, oh my God. I don't even know what to say. Thank you, Mike Kurth. Thank you. E thank you. Yeah, it's, that is, yeah, Angela Garrity. Kevin Smith's about to turn 50. Doesn't even seem right. Uh, a huge fan of Kevin Smith, huge fan of Clerks, all of his movies. I even like uh, Chasing Amy quite a bit. I like all of his movies. I'm a big fan. Mike Kurth, holy shit. This was a really, really spectacular vape mail segment. Really spectacular vape mail segment. Um, we literally have 15 minutes left. So what I'm going to do is combine... The retro vaping, the liquid tasting, and getting to know Grim Green all into one big fucking thing, okay? The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always be hydrating. Okay? I think we can do it. I think, I think we can do it. So, uh, I guess the first thing I have to do is... This. That is crazy. Uh, I don't even have a mod to put this on. Wait, there's more.
But wait, there's more. Okay, so here we go at the combined, I know, today's vlog should be renamed Snacks and Smith. Snack, I can't believe I have, I have to get those posters framed 100%. I have my Leonardo hat. This Berserker shirt, like I'm not going to say that it's my favorite thing that I've ever had, but that's one of my favorite things I've ever had. Everybody's homework tonight is to go watch Clerks, the original Clerks, because it's incredible. It's incredible. It's an incredible movie. The funny story is I used to hate it because I didn't get it. All of my friends in high school told me, oh, you got to watch Clerks, bro. You got to watch Clerks. It's so funny. It was one of those like I had serious FOMO because all my friends, all my clicky friends, Patrick and Luke and Scott and Chris and other Scott they all hung out one night and watched Clerks without me. And it was like, oh, it was so funny. It was the funniest shit ever. And so I'm like, okay, well, I want to be in on this. So I'm going to watch Clerks. So I bought, I didn't buy it. I went to Blockbuster Video and I got Clerks and rented it and watched it by myself. And I'm like, that's not funny. I don't think this is funny literally at all. I don't get it. I don't get it. And then I watched it with people. I watched it with my brother and I could not stop laughing. I thought it was just the funniest shit I had ever seen. And it was just, I needed to watch it with someone who appreciated it. And it took me like a, it took me a minute to like get it, to go, oh, it's, it's this. It's like a, this type of thing. It's not just like a comedy, like a Will Ferrell comedy. It's like a comedy. It's like a different kind of comedy. And it just blew me away. Completely blew me away. Yeah, did I just date myself there by saying blockbuster video? Okay, so I'm going to take, if anybody wants to guess, no, no, it wasn't even that, Andy. It was not, it was before shed time. This is before shed time days. This is before I did any sort of shed time. In fact, I haven't had shed time in two months now. Two months now. I feel fantastic. Maybe a little bit longer than two months now. I feel fantastic. This is before shed time. This is, this is before shed time. Yes, Mike K. Mike Kurth. Oh my God, bro. Thank you. P please tell me you just saw me freaking out for like the last full 20 minutes while I'm opening this package. It's amazing. Mike Kurth, I owe you. You've always been there for me. You never let me down. We're doing retro vaping, liquid tasting, getting to know Grim Green all in one time. I'm going to take guesses in the chat as to who can guess what the retro vaping is based on this. Mike K, you are a legend. Legend. Anybody got any guesses on uh, what the retro vaping is, huh? Anybody want to venture a guess? Just based on that, just based on the deck. Epic snack time. Epic snack time, too. Wasp Nano? No. Oh, Jeremy V for the mother trucking win. How did you guess that from just seeing the deck? How did you guess that from just seeing the deck? I would have never guessed from just seeing the deck. Billy, yeah, you're correct. Jeremy V. Jeremy V and Billy are correct. This is the Serpent Elevate. This is only from uh, 2018. So this is only a few years old. But I've had like this little obsession again with RTAs. And I remember really liking them. And every time I go to my, I remember really liking this particular RTA. Every time I go to my YouTube, I have this playlist that's 2014 or 2018 things that I liked. I try to keep all the things that I've really, really liked over the years into a certain playlist, right? And so I, at the, t at the front of that playlist from 2018, 
is the serpent elevate and i saw i keep seeing it every time i go to my youtube i see it every time i go to my youtube i see it i see it i see it and i go i did really like that rta i say that in my head every time i see it i did really like that rta i did really like that rta actually yeah i really really like that rta i just haven't vaped it in such a long time so i got it out just to give it another whirl you know just because i'm addicted to setting up setups the liquid that we have to taste today comes from dark matter. I don't know if it's dark matter or Eclipse. I think Eclipse is the liquid company. Okay, well, let's look to the internet right now. Eclipse dark matter. Let's see. Dark Matter by Eclipse. Oh, so, okay, this is Main Vape Co. So this is Main Vape Co. They do, uh, they do the Prickly Smooth, which I got in the Disco Potato Nugget. That I love. I love the crap out of it. Just one of my favorite things of all time. I love that liquid. So we got some Dark Matter uh, by Eclipse, Main Vape Co., I don't even know. I don't even know what that's going to taste like. And the Serpent Elevate. This is the same build that I had on the Serpent Elevate, and it, it looks a little bit janky. You know, you can see one of the leads. Uh, ooh, I can really zoom this in here. You can see one of the leads is kind of up like that. It still works. It still works great. But the build on the inside, ah, it looks a little bit wonky, right? It looks a little, a little bit, a little bit janktastic, but I've wicked it up. I know that's an MTurk alien. Let's see. Uh, let's measure this resistance again. 0.29. Yeah, that sounds about right. We're going to turn this down a little bit to about mm, 67.5 watts just because that's where it landed on the Odin. It's going to look super dope on the Odin right there. It's kind of a, a kind of a match made in heaven, right? kind of a match made in heaven let's give it a shot i remember this vaping really really well and i'm interested to try this liquid all right it's vaping nice the airflow is not as nice as i remember it the airflow on this it feels a little bit weird. It feels a little bit sharp to me. It honestly feels hollow, which is an airflow term that I've thrown around quite a bit in the past. Hollow. And that wicking is not keeping up. That Wiccan ain't keeping up at all. <laughs> have anything great to say about the Aegis Boost Rebuildable Deck? Not yet, because I don't have one. If I had one, I would definitely give you my two cents on there. Addy Tooney, I love those libertarian links you're putting in there. It's time to dismantle the DEA. You're damn right it is. Let's get Joe Jorgensen on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast. I think this is just too high of a wattage. Maybe this RTA needs a little bit lower of a wattage. Maybe it's similar to the Type 2 RTA in that it needs just a little bit lower of a wattage kind of thing going on there, right? This liquid's a little bit fascinating, and I'm going to continue to vape it. While we mention the record, I'm going to be adding two tracks to the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist that I'll have linked below down in the description. In fact, we're going back to this just because I needed to put some more clutch. I've been listening to the Getting to Know Grim Green playlist a lot. It's called GTK GG, The Jams. And it's on Spotify, and I'll have it linked below. And it's it's two tracks from every record that we've talked about here in the Getting to Know Grim Green segment. Uh, 
It's vaping pretty good. I turn down the airflow and I like it so much more. I still don't know what to make of this liquid. To me, it kind of tastes like uh, raspberry yogurt a little bit. I'm getting some strong like raspberry yogurt uh, vibes from this. Some strong raspberry yogurt vibes from this. Raspberry, berry, strawberry, something like that. It definitely tastes like a yogurt. But the, uh, but the record that we're going to add some songs to the playlist from, this is the deluxe edition of Clutch Robot Hive Exodus. Now, I have a complicated relationship with the band Clutch. I always say, well, Clutch is my favorite band. Favorite band of all time. I love Neil Fallon. I love his voice. I love Clutch. I, don't, I didn't always love Clutch. I don't want to tell the whole Clutch story, but when Transnational Speedway League came out, I didn't like it. That's the, that was like one of their first records. Didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. It took me years to finally get into Clutch. And then I started really loving Clutch. And even when I started really loving Clutch, I didn't love like every album that they released. It's vaping great. This vaping really great. I didn't love every album that they released. But this one, this was the first Clutch record that I truly, truly, truly fell in love with. Almost every track on this is a banger. There's very few clunkers on this particular album. And the story behind this album is I got into this album when I was just a young, like, how old was I? 27, 28 years old. And I was just partying constantly. My brother and I were living together in Carson City, Nevada. Uh, I wasn't smoking at the time, but we had an open, we had a basically a running party all summer long. <laughs> all summer long. We just left the side gate to our little duplex open. We had tiki torches and like Christmas lights and a couch and chairs and a table and like a fire pit just going constantly every single night of the week and people would just come and mingle in and mingle out and all of our friends from Starbucks would come and hang out and some nights we had like 15, 20 people there. Some nights we had like five or six people there, but it was like a constant thing and I'd get home from work and I'd just go straight to the backyard and see who was there, have start, start drinking, start drinking beers, start drinking booze. You just get hammered. I'd go to sleep, wake up, go to work, come back, wander back into the backyard, start drinking again. This was the soundtrack of those like worshiping the fun God summer <laughs> when my brother and I were living together. This album is amazing. And the story behind this actual record is I've actually purchased this record twice. I bought this record the first time at there was a vapor showcase, I think it was, in Las Vegas, and Clutch was playing at the House of Blues in Mandalay Bay. So the first night of the vape show, myself and Dwayne and Kent, yeah, I had photographic evidence of this. I had photographic evidence of this. I should have found a picture from it. Raspberry yogurt. That's what I'm landing on. Let's see what Dark Matter has to say here. Nope. Dark Matter by Eclipse. Raspberries uh, harvested from planet Earth by extraterrestrials used to spin the most delicious cotton candy ever to taste your buds. Okay, so it's like a raspberry cotton candy. It really tastes like yogurt to me. I get a real creamy creamy raspberry from this creamy creamy raspberry damn this is good in fact if you go to eliquid.com this is a clearance item and you can get a 100 mil bottle of it for $16.23 this was a truly random liquid tasting I was just going through boxes and I thought what the hell is I've never seen this before Let's do it. Liquid tasting in the Serpent Elevate, which still holds up, Matt. I just want you to know, Serpent Elevate still holds up. 
So the first night I was staying at the stratosphere and the first night we went and saw clutch me, Dwayne Kent went and saw clutch graveyard opened amazing. Then we saw clutch and it was amazing. And I bought this record at that show. I bought it and I was so stoked to have this record, this exact expanded edition, the regular editions like this brown color, the deluxe edition is this cool white, like, uh, you know, foldy out guy with the comic on the inside. And I was checking out of the stratosphere after this vape show. And I had my backpack and I had my suitcase on rollies and I was carrying this record with me, right? Right. And I went to check out at the little checkout kiosk and I put my bag down and I put my suitcase down and I put this record on the kiosk, like just boop, set it down, filled out the little thing. I am checking out. This was my room number. Here's my last name. Here's my keys. Okay. Drop it in there. Grabbed my bag, grabbed my suitcase and just left. And I started my like four and a half hour, five hour drive home with this record still sitting on the checkout kiosk of the Stratosphere Tower Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I didn't realize it until I got all the way back, basically back down to Southern California. I was living in San Diego at the time. So I got to Riverside, which is like four hours outside of Las Vegas. And I realized it. I thought, I, I left the record there. What do I do? Well, what do I do? What do I do? Do I turn around? Do I turn around right now? Do I turn around and go get this record right now? Do I drive four hours back to Las Vegas in hopes that someone from the casino got it and like put it in the lost and found? Or chances are someone would just walk by and went, huh, free clutch record. All right. And just took it. So I instantly got on this phone with the Stratosphere. I told them what happened. They said, oh, we'll look through the lost and found and see if there's a record in there. No, no record in there. And I got home and I just felt the most defeated of all time. And I swore up and down that it was going to be one of the first records that I rebought. And yeah, it was. It was one of the first records that I rebought. Clutch, Robot Hive, Exodus. Now, I have a really hard time picking just two songs from this record to put on the playlist. Holy shit. There's too many good songs on this. Okay. So the two songs that we're going to put on this. Oh, it's too difficult. Okay. We're going to put mice and gods track number four mice and gods. Then we're going to put track number 11, 10,000 witnesses. This is just going to give you a taste of how great this album is. By all means, I I highly recommend just checking out this entire album. Just put it on, listen to it from beginning to end. But the two songs that are going to be on the Getting to Know Grim Green playlist, Mice and Gods, 10,000 Witnesses. Oh, I really want to put Burning Beard on there. I really want to put 100011101101 on there. I really want to put Never Be Moved on there. I really, I want to put all of the tracks on there. But I can only choose two. That's the rules. I didn't make them. I did make them, but they are rigid and unflinching. So Mice and Gods and 10,000 Witnesses going on the Getting to Know Grim Green playlist. It's just a musical history of Grim Green. Now, if we're going to talk about the Serpent Elevate, it holds up. Just turn down the airflow. If you can track one of these down, it's a pretty banger of an RTA. Top airflow, single coil deck, nice flavor, easy to build, easy to wick. Turn your airflow down. As far as the e-liquid goes, tastes like a raspberry yogurt to me still. Still tastes like a raspberry yogurt to me. It's supposed to be a, a raspberry cotton candy but it tastes like a raspberry yogurt to me. And that's where we're ending the triple segment. Woo! I did it! I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I got through all of that. So for anyone that's still here, if you're hanging out to the very, 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 very end of this vlog, thank you so much. I say this every time, but you are just my favorite people on earth. If I ever get the chance to meet you in real life, I do dispense crisp high fives. Maybe we do a social distance elbow bump or whatever. If you're wearing a mask, shit, let's have a hug. Okay. 
Let's just do the damn thing. We're going to end this here vlog with some super chats. That's right. No time. No time for the whole thing. No time. All right. Where did I leave off? Uh, Kennedy says, uh, my IT man son says that all tech crap they tell you is bullshit. The vlog freezes. So what? I'm watching anyway. I appreciate that. I appreciate you sticking with me through my little furious moment there at, at the internet. You know, the internet will work fine and work fine and work fine. And it's like, oh, grim green, let's go to stream. And it's like, ah. And I was right in the middle of my bicycle boogie too. And that's, that's really what upsets me the most. Yeah, please remember to smash that like button on your, on your way out, guys. Anthony Ramella, what if Crew Jones quit when things got glitchy? He wouldn't have won Hell Track. There's thunder in your heart. Every move is like lightning. God damn it, you're right. Because there's thunder in your heart. Every move is like lightning. Thank you, Anthony Ramella. I appreciate that. What if Crew Jones had given up? What if Crew Jones had given up the first time they tried to keep him out of Hell Track? You know, after he qualified. Oh, you need a national sponsor. You need a sponsor. That's where Rad Racing was born. I should have listened to Crew Jones. I should have been more inspired by Crew Jones, Anthony Ramella. Sick boy, very gracious of you. Because Scott Jenkins said so. You make that red. You make that red heart. You make that red heart. Thanks, sick boy. No, 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 sick boy. John, very gracious of you. You didn't say anything you didn't have to. There's a little fist bump for you. Bradley, very gracious of you. I just realized my birthday lands on vlog day, 813. All right, remind me, Bradley. Remind me, and I will sing you. I will sing you happy birthday in the vlog, I promise. New Wave Dave, I think the dangle clacks are over. I hope so. I hope the dangle clacks never come back ever again new wave dave lethal coils yo yo my birthday falls on a vlog day too today what happy birthday to lethal coils i will see you at the rally as well happy birthday to lethal coils kevin very gracious of you so glad you decided not to stop the vlog uh me and my buddy oreo watch you all the time keep doing what you're doing mad respect to you i appreciate that you know I'm glad I didn't stop the vlog too. You guys can't let me get away with that shit. I, I want to pull the plug. This is That's only the second time ever in live streaming history that I've wanted to pull the plug. And I just got, I went from zero to just church burner in like four seconds. And I just wanted to burn the world down and pull the plug on the vlog. I'm glad I didn't. Thank you guys for hanging in there. And thank you guys for uh, dealing with my rage sweats. 9-4 vape. I'm Jay Quinn. There's juice and coils in there. Yes, the juice. Is that juice? The juice from Jay Quinn? The, the oils? Even though it says oils in there, where did they go? They're here. They're, yeah, Jay. Jay Quinn, 94 vape. Okay, here, I'm going to write that on the bag. I'm going to write this on the bag. 94 vape. Appreciate that. Plus, you know, the internet glitching out like that, it's just so it's just so bush league. It's like, what, is this my first day here? No. Look, if I'm gonna compete with Steven Crowder for Southern Comfort's attention, I need to have a not glitchy vlog. <laughs> I need to have a not glitchy vlog. 94 Vape, I changed the labels to essential oils. Oh, okay, so it passed customs. Uh mango slushy, key lime pie, and caramel sundae. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh let me know what the nick level is on those. If they're high nicotine, that would be cool. But if not, then that's, you know what? It's still cool. Still cool, 9-4-J. I appreciate the wads of snacks as well. Southern Comfort Grim. Apparently, I can't give you some great advice on building in chat. Keeps telling me to edit it. Look for my email. Southern Comfort. Pew, pew. I will keep an eye out for your email. Appreciate that. Remember summer blockbuster bonus boxes? Yes, Barbara. I was just thinking about those the other day. And it's because I watched an episode of The Addams Family. And I remembered when you and I would go to Blockbuster and we rented The Addams Family and we rented the Beverly Hillbillies movie. And we got the blockbuster bonus boxes that came with like all sorts of like snacks. And there was like candy and stuff in there. I remember. I'm old enough to remember that, Barbara. Love you. 
Chris, very gracious of you. You didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. There's a fist bump for you. Halo clouds. I just love that clutch record. P.S. There are Mexican pesos. Don't her a hard on. These are Mexican pesos. Don't have a hard on. Oh, okay. I was like $99. Okay. 99 pesos. That's still very, very gracious of you. And I'm glad you love this clutch record. I love this clutch record too. Thank you, Halo Clouds. That's awesome. Live in hints. Very gracious of you. How about an Egyptian covered Iron Maiden? It's not the dollar amount. It's just the thought to keep going regardless of issues. Yeah, that. thank you. How about an Egyptian covered Iron Maiden? Yes. Are you ta- you're talking about the Power Slave album. That's the album that you like. Power Slave. <laughs> thank you, Live in Hints. One more from Southern Comfort here before we get to wrapping this up. If you read that email now, everyone can learn something. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. You're going to make me check my emails right now? Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Where'd you you send it to? Nick at GrimGreen.com? Is the email from Southern Comfort? Uh, Yep, it is. It is. Oh, okay. Here we go. Grim, for the trilogy. Okay, the trilogy RTA. Cut the cotton long, juice, and then tuck the cotton, then use tweezers to lift the wick away from the edge of the huge bottom airflow hole. Then it won't leak. All right, one more time from Southern Comfort. For the Trilogy RTA, cut the cotton long, juice, and then tuck the cotton. Then use tweezers to lift the wick away from the edge of the huge bottom airflow hole then it won't leak. I'm sure this will make much more sense uh, when I can eventually uh, open this RTA and get a look at what you're trying to take a look at. Cut the cotton long, then tuck. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, then use tweezers to lift the wick away from the huge from the edge of the huge bottom airflow hole. That is a huge bottom airflow hole. Huge bottom airflow hole. All right. Southern Comfort, thank you for that pro tip right there. Pro tip on Wicken the Trilogy RTA from Southern Comfort. You know what? Maybe we'll throw the Trilogy RTA on the Monday build stream. But anyway, I think we're getting uh, down here to the end of the uh, of the vlog. Let me, uh, let me take a quick look around this disaster of a room right now. See, for you guys, it looks all nice and neat. But down here... It's fucking chaos, bro. Fucking chaos. So there's no more super chats. We're down here to the end of the vlog. Really appreciate it. Huge shout out to Miller Man, to, to Southern Comfort, to, to J94Vape, everybody that sent me. I mean, Mike Kurth, Adam Breeze Tones. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for being being part of the Grim Army and fighting for the cause. Uh, it really means a lot to me. You know, after 11 years on YouTube, it feels uh, it feels good to have such a such a passionate, wonderful audience that loves the vlog as much as I do. So I'll say this: Thank you guys so much for coming out. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least. less harmful for you than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So fight the man at every turn. You don't have to do everything, but you do have to do something. Let's get involved, you guys. Be excellent to each other. Peace.